we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I just left Penn's mom's house, so thank you to Penn. Shout to Penn. We are back. We have no volume in game, so this is fun. We are on vertigo. Now we're back. Dr. Seuss, a.k.a. Der Proust here, taking middle. Team Flash taking CT side. Hawks taking T side on an interesting map pick. Looks like they're making some great noise. Surprising them. Columbus taking some mid control here. Hawkish about the oh, Hawkish about the peak. He might get his back here, clearing his corners like a good boy. We got an opening fight here. Ooh, it's coming. Hawkish taking jump up. Professor taking the first kill of this map. Okay. Hawkish getting CT, fighting the rotates. Uh oh. We might have B, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we do. Quick bomb plant. Quick bomb plant by the Hawks. Jump up with carry. Shells get Mr. Professor with the 2K. Three headshots. Mr. Professor is on fire with that UPS. USP, UPS, whatever we are in. Nazy, what do you think about this? I don't, I don't know what. Uh-oh, we're getting the noise from... From Fluffy. Yeah, hashtag... Oh, okay. Oh, we got a hashtag. Hashtag blame Fuffy, everybody. We're missing every kill. What the heck? Missing every single L kill. Observer. I love it. Hawkish with the opening round. This is going to be a quick one, folks. Professor getting kill on Torque with the Galil. Orca about to see Professor. Hopefully he doesn't throw it back in his face, which he doesn't. Now he just mollies himself. Oh, no. Any he, he falls. Oh, oh boy. And getting the kill. kill. And getting the kill. I love it. Bottom frag killing Orca. 2 0 Hawks. On a very, very heavy CT sided map. Let's see if that comes into play winning two pistol rounds here. Yeah, Hawks looking very good. You can. Hopefully, this is just the beginning of uh, why they picked this map. 2 0 taking that pistol and then very cleanly taking that second round as well. I'm telling you, they were doing the quack, quack, quack. Thank you for the console there, Fuff. Oh, oh, and then we're doing. Yep, there we go. Everyone looking at, looking at a wall. <laughs> Doctor Shoes going up. Chels take. <laughs> Chels with the smoke that was taught by Buffy. Taking short control here. He's on scaffolding, peeking through. Just the Columbus is there, and it's a fight that Chels wins. Chels peeking his corners. He's down to seven HP. On. Taking a little fight in B. Hawkish getting to Proust. Taking mid, going back down to ladder. Bottom flag flashing into A site. Good flash on the carry. Carry reloading. Chell's still with that 7 HP. Slowly moving up. Just like I do with everything in my life. Slowly moving up. Torque hanging out in elevator. Headshot. Carry with a peek. On says, nah, not yet. Oh! Torque running through getting a kill! Carrie getting a kill on shells! Torque going back to the elevator. Carry eating a little bit. Oh my goodness, Carrie's eating some utility. Torque getting Professor Hawkish, killing Carrie with the, with the Molly. Bomb is down. Torque on a two on one, or a one and a half on one, I, I'm gonna say here. Jiggle peeking. Jiggle peeking. I don't know what he was shooting at, but he was shooting at something. Gets Hawk down. Bottom frag taking his time. Doesn't... Torque knows where he's at. Here he goes. Close peek! And he gets him with the clutch! Torque! And now we cycle to the that city there. Whatever city that may be. And now we're going to look at Torque's nuts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're a professional observer. <laughs> yeah. Torque. With the large <laughs> yeah. torque with the large cojones, as shown by Fuffy here, yeah. dropping the 2K to win the round. Love it. Now we're cycling through. That's that's what Fuffy was hinting at there. Big yeah. like eating big cojones. Yeah, good round for Hawks to start, but really unable to convert it. They got the two openers and big 3v5 for Flash. Little spam. First of the short push. Look at the mid push. Chels by himself gets the headshot wow. with the Max 10. Love it. Orca with the trade. De Proust aggressive. Taking down Mr. Professor with the headshot. There's headshot. Oh, bottom frag. Coming up beat. Torque with the bottom frag trade from headshot. K 
Bakhtiari waiting for that jump up peak, which doesn't look like it's going to come. Hawkish going down to the, the ladder, which I would definitely fall down. God bless you, holding that shift key. Nice and slow. About to kiss the ground. There we go. I'm looking back towards A. It's a small map, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens here. Quick rotates, quick rotates. We got a smoke going somewhere. I have no idea where it went. Probably short. Nope, you're not going to find it. Nope, you're definitely not going to find it. Carry! With the fight! Double swing! Nope. Ah, getting carry. 2v2. We got low HP around, though. We got low HP for both. Deproos hanging out in elevators with the low HP. Flash coming out. Deproos about to swing on Hawk. Dork in heaven. Saw something. Didn't get it. About to get taken off on ramp. Let's hide for time, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody's yelling time in Discord right now. I'm on, smoking. Was that Torque smoking up on? Hawkish getting the one kill. Torque, 100 HP. They just played Ring Around the Rosie. Torque, I, he isn't, no. He's like, nah, I don't know. He could be here. He could be here. On, playing smart. Spam it! Spam it! There he goes. Hawkish getting the kill. 3 1 Hawks. Better start there, Needsy. Better start. Yeah, well, long range SMGs to start that round for both teams. And um, yeah, Hawks and the man disadvantage able to recover the 2v3 and get that third round on the board and put Flash onto an eco. Heavy mid aggression here, it looks like. On a pistol. On a pistol save. Gets one, and then two taken down by Hawkish with the 2k. Gary waiting for that A push with a nice looking deagle. Hawkish getting Orca on the 3k. Hawkish saying, wait, 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 I want to get the ace. I want to get the ace. Carry keeping that hope alive for Hawkish. Chell says, nah, not today, buddy. Taking down Tor, getting the plant. Molly going in the elevator. Carry alone with half HP. Maybe a little more, but I didn't do well in school. Still going for the peak. Still going for the peak. Chell's not really known. Oh, what a molly. What a molly. Good timing. Flash coming too. Maybe a save. Fuffy getting fancy with it. Chell's takes down carry. Hawks win the round. Good job, Hawks. They are on a they are on a roll here. Off to a much better start than they were on Inferno. Things are looking pretty good. Maybe those wings are starting to starting to get spread a little bit here, and maybe some flight will be taken. And great view by uh, Fuffy there, looking around the wall, just like I do with my wife when she's mad at me. A ramp smoke. Carry dropping the flash, trying to hold on the onslaught here. Molly coming out short. Fight through smoke. Columbus got a better view of on. Or on, is it on? I can't say it. I can't say it, man. Yeah, on, off, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know. See, Fuffy's confused too. I love it. Is Fuffy on, on voice here or is he muted again? No. He's muted and saying very dirty words in my ear. Orca with a kill. Dupruce with two. Bottom frag. Walking back up, grabbing the bomb. Still a little chance. Oh, dropping it, saying, nope, that's a hot potato. Or potato, depending on what part of the country you're coming from here. Well, we're going to get a nice little view. The bomb looks very, yeah, it looks a little warm. It looks a little warm, folks. A little, a little, a little hump came there. All right, bottom frag. About to see Dupruce. Dupruce walking away, thinking, hmm, is he over there? Bottom frag. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Almost got a little damage there. He's about to swing on Columbus, even though it's his teammate. Bottom frag hiding on the save here. We need some elevator music for this save. There's still a lot of time left. They are going to be on the bomb now. They're like, wait a minute, why is this here? Torque about to killed from behind! Bottom frag says, oh, now you know where I am. Damn it. Contemplating jumping off the edge here. Spotify taking down Dupruce. Oh, with the 2K. And they're all like, wait a minute, not my friend. I think that was Carrie. Still about to peek on Columbus, even though it's, she's on the same team. And Columbus, like, why is that there? Team Flash with the win for two. Back to the wall. 
back to the wall. Nice little fade out. The cameraman is running backwards. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the map. Nazy, what do you think? How do you think so far? Yeah, I mean, Hawks have been looking pretty, pretty solid so far. Team Flash kind of doing what they can on this map so far. That's yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Now we gotta pick up the pace a little bit. Hard aggression, up ramp, A ramp. Bouncing away is on with the max 10. With a little bouncy bounce. Getting taken down by carry. Bottom frag, doing the swing peak saying, not my friend. Hawk is taking out Columbus. I don't know from where, because I can't see that on the map. Chels flashing, about to look at it. Dupruis with some damage in short. Four takes out Hawkins. Dupruis had Chels from behind, but gets taken out with a headshot. Nice little flick. There's there. someone already bottom ramp. This yeah. round's over. Oh boy, carry from behind says, you know what? Nah, I'm not I'm okay with it right now. I'm okay with it. Torque is on the bomb. Torque yeah. is on the bomb. They have A and Torque is on the bomb. Uh, luckily for Hawks, they have three alive to deal with the problem. Oh. And bomb. they don't even need a second. Yeah, nice job by bottom frag. Nice peak nice by bottom frag there. Winning the round. Incredibly fast flank coming in. Could have gotten dicey, but you know, Hawks get that fifth on the board. They're looking great. This is turning out to be one of those slobber knockers, if you, if you will. Gun thrown over to Hawkish there. Pistols, pistols and a and a CZ by Torque. That's that's definitely that's definitely him. Three pushing A, pushing A ramp. We got a fight here. Trying to get trying to get a gun. Trying to get a cheeky kill. Flash going up. Still pushing up. They know three are there and they're still pushing up A ramp. They're like ah, we got him. Chels from behind. He's gonna get the 2K. He's gonna be like, guys, guys, I got B. Guys, I got B. Guys, I got B. Nope, they ain't rotating. They said not today. They got balls here, folks. Ah, to proof from behind. Using the using the 250 from halfway across the map. I love it. With the headshot. Stealing the gun. They may save here, folks. They may save that gun. I think they're going to. They do the rotate. Does the Hawks. I'm gonna play out. Chell's doing the creeper cam here. Same cam that's in a sleazy motel across the United States here. Carry waiting, waiting for Chell's to peek. Waiting for Chell's to go hunting. Waiting for it. De Proust. Nicely spread out here. I don't know where that molly went. And now we have a lull here, folks, for the 40-second bomb timer. I, I gotta say, Hawks showing why they are one and zero this season with Flash being zero and zero on uh, on Vertigo. They did not play it this season, so let's see. Uh, I think that's becoming a factor here. That's a nice cone. The cone falls over. Another cone goes down off the map, ladies and gentlemen, off the map. I don't know what happened there. Oh, and the wall, 69, 73, 69. Play those numbers for your local lottery. I do not condone gambling, but if you do. Six, two Hawks. Little push by Orca, dropping that molly deep, trying to prevent that lurk. A flash by Han, flashed his whole team. It was awesome. Thank God it didn't play on my screen. Otherwise, I probably would have had a seizure with how good that flash was. Columbus taking sandbags, hoping that a molly doesn't go his way. The Hawks are sp surprisingly spread throughout the map. What do you think about that, Nazy? Yeah, they're, they're taking some early map control. Shell's winning a duel, winning a second duel onto Orko, who's been super quiet compared to Inferno. I think they need to get him activated somehow in order to have a real shot here on their defensive side. Columbus falling back. Falling back to the... to the. Uh, I don't even know what the hell you call that one. Someone someone right in the chat where you call that, that box there. Carry with Hawkish. Columbus going back to Sandbag saying they didn't see me. Taking the duel with bottom frag. Still like, ah, I don't think so. Chell says, ah, catch this. Tough duel. Professor. Peek it. Oh. Phone the Miley saying, ooh, that's a bad angle to take. Ooh, with the flick and he misses. Giving that guy a high five when he goes by. Carries like, I hear him going B. Throwing that flat, that supportive flash. 
Molly going into the bomb site there. Professor Jigglepig and got a little bit of a gap into CT. Columbus, not really sure if he's going to take it. Thinks he's a little farther than Mr. Professor is. This is a 2v2 with Chels being really low. They got a chance to take. They got a chance. Mr. Professor getting a couple shots. Oh, taking down Columbus. Chels getting taken down. Professor. Professor pulling it out for the Hawks, keeping the 7 2 scoreline. Very big, uh, big 3k out of Mr. Professor. Taking over top of the leaderboard now at 12 and. 12 and uh, 4. Things are looking good for Hawks. Finally breaking the streak of 2 for 1s in terms of rounds. Yeah, getting them on Unico. Things are looking great for Hawks here. Should easily be able to win this half. To Bruce, we gotta we gotta push around rush here. They are sending it to me. Hawks is taking down Columbus. Mr. Professor taking down Torque. Orca says, I'm gonna get you with that deagle. And he does. And he has, has the bomb. bomb. And he has the bomb. Hawkish says, uh oh. Professor trying to get behind. And he gets him with a little bit a little high aim there by Orca. Dupruce with the AK. With the uh the stolen AK here. Shell slowly peeking up ramp. Hawkish, they're trying to find a little opening here. Dupruce is looking down the middle of the map saying, I don't know, guy. Carrie, she is peeking short. Looks like a B play here. Quick rotates, quick rotates. Nice flash out into... Okay, that was a guy's side of his head. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mr. Professor eating a molly and getting shot in the head. Carrie, 2v1, 3v1 with the pistol. Getting a gun. Uh-oh, dangerous. And if there wasn't lag, I would have saw that kill by Chels. Hawks, 18-2 flash. Back to back, three case coming out of Mr. Professor. Get that win streak up to four now, and Hawks just continuing to to soar so far. I mean, taking this this half and continuing to roll. They're rolling. They are looking to come out with a vengeance and take the stage here. They are looking like they want to do it. And this is T side, Nancy. This is T side right now. This is a notoriously CT map. So they are playing very well. We'll see. Columbus wide swing in there. Chell's a little bit of pee. He's like, ah, did I see him? Did I see him? Did I see him? Oh, I did. I don't know where he went, though. This is not. Let me get a little bit of a better angle. Columbus, uh-oh. With the peek. Gets a kill. Gets traded out by Chell's. Nice shot. On making some noise at B. Keeping his presence known about the fight Orca here. Spammed, spammed the, the four-foot-long concrete block there. Sees Torque headshot, decides, eh, I'm not going to take this fight. Let's rotate out. Mr. Professor looks like he's working mid. About to fight Dupruce. Doesn't know he's there. Might need a flick. Carry holding back deep A site. Dupruce says, nah, I'm not going to fight mid. I'm going to take that A support. Still, Torque with the wide swing gets eaten up by Hawk. Both reloading. Orca 1v1 with Hawkish. Let's see who comes out on top here. But we're not going to because we're going to go to mid. And we're back to it, ladies and gentlemen. And, <laughs> and Fuffy's messing with me. I can't say the other word. Takes down Orca. Dear Bruce. About to get a face full of bullets by Hawkish, who is on fire. And not by that molly. 14 and 6. 9 2 Hawks. We are a rolling. Professor passing that. 3k baton over to Hawkish now. And yeah, they're just kind of having their way with Team Flash right here. Just dump dumpstering on the weak or the hypothetically weak map pool that Team Flash has, really. Yeah. Dumping a ton of time in Inferno and not really many other maps. I mean, yeah. they went five and under in the regular season. And I mean so tactical timeout right now. I, I'm if I'm if I'm gonna go off of what my face at pugs are usually like when we're losing like this they usually start with guys we got this we can beat them we can beat these guys so i don't know what else do you think they're talking about Nazi? and I, they're definitely talking about how to work the map the hawks have been just controlling every facet of the map and so just 
stack one site and rush down something maybe yeah. and get get some early map control. I think I think the the hawks are really effectively spreading out too. They're using their lurks their lurks effect effectively and really uh, getting a pick and then capitalizing on it, which it's really fighting the rotates from Team Flash. Trying to do a boost here, Orca. Orca's like, I'm gonna give you a kiss, bottom frag. Right on the mouth, Orca, or bottom frag, flashes himself and says, I don't really want to see anymore. Thank God it doesn't show up my screen, because I would probably have a seizure. Some mid push here. Carry about to catch a couple of teeth with a great flash! Oh! On getting to Pruce on the double peak. Hawkish getting Columbus. On not peeking Carry. Didn't realize she was there. They're going for, they're going one by one in there and taking on Carry. Hawkish trying to get from behind. Carry unfortunately running out of bullets here. Hawkish keeping keeping the pace. Orca responding with his knife. Coming out with the gun. Hawkish dropping the, the smoke. We got a 2v3. Hawkish with the peak. Oh, play time, my friend. I don't know where. To, I think Twerk is going to go to jump up. Is gonna try and grab a gun. Yeah, I think jump up. Yep, they got, they got utility going down. No mollies. Two guns here. Two v two. Oh, we got a molly. Trying to cut Love some time out there. Bottom frag. Cork just dove in. Said, I don't care. Forcing them to one side with the Chelsea. Orca or bottom frag with the second kill on Orca and Hawks continue. I don't know what that noise that just came out of whoever's face that was. Buffy. Buffy. <laughs> Buffy just fanboyed and he made a noise, ladies and gentlemen, that I cannot repeat because if I do, the <laughs> FBI will come to my house and arrest me on stream. Hawks on to 10. They're just having their way so far and going into another eco. Things are looking great to. Get 11, and then they got a couple more rounds to avoid Zonic's I, law. I think we might have to. Uh, I think we might have to take a technical timeout in the casters because I am. I might need to take a shower after that noise. Gun getting passed from Orca. <laughs> it looks like we got an A hit here. Hard A hit. We got a hero AK and pistols around for Team Flash. Chell's taking the Bruce down. I Chell's taking two down. I'm taking the third down. Hero AK. They don't realize Orca is still a headshot. If they do, they're just messing with him. I don't think they know is it. But they do. Professor with the jiggle peek. Carry. Swinging that deagle. Getting a free gun. Saying, nah, I'm going for this. 1v3. I got this. Get some, get some good damage. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Oh, and it's not. Chels with the boomstick. Saying... Say hi to dad. And no, said seven, hi. Thank you. seven in a row for Hawks here. Just a great T half coming out of this team. The uh, Mr. Professor Hawkish and Chels really dropping some uh, dropping some numbers here. Yeah, this dropping is huge. Numbers. Yeah, keeping uh, keeping low kill count on the uh, the old T CTs here. Not losing a lot of people in the round, holding that early round, uh, getting that early round advantage, which is, uh, I think, a big, big key for him. Full gun complement for each side here with the op from Chels. No op from CT side. Slow Hawkish with the opening on. Hawkish is just opening up in that B site and saying, "Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Hawk." About to take a fight with Columbus here. Slowly, not not showing too much. Hawk, Columbus knows he's there. And here goes for the wide swing. And then Buffy on cue just clicks off it. Hawkish, and then clicks back when Hawkish gets the headshot. The cameraman is having a stroke, ladies and gentlemen. This is the best taking a battle in mid. Saying peace out after losing on to Orca. Orca waiting for the repeat, not really doing any damage with that. Hawk is still slowly, slowly riding his bike right through B site, holding it. Hopefully, it doesn't stick too far out or his ass is gonna get shot. Orca rushing in, getting killed by Hawkish. Hopefully, he runs from that spot because now they know he's there. Torque getting the kill on bottom frag with Chels. Chels, nice assist on the team K. Torque jumping around. Wow. If my FPS wasn't four, that was a great move. Going for the is well, pro stick. No. No. no, no, oh, he had it too. He's going for the kill. 
Does he get it? He gets it. I don't know if he's gonna have enough. Does I he don't... have a kit? Yeah, he has a kit. He has yes, a he's got he it. Got Plenty of time. He got a great clutch by Torque here. They're all gonna be slapping barrels in CT after that round. And not the not the the, the game barrels, guys. I don't want a dirty I don't want any dirty stuff on on the stream here. I don't run out of this first half. Fox looking to get that 12th on the board. Team Flash trying to get some Zonix Law in action. Hope, yeah. hope for something there. I think Torque might have needs a little pace change. So let's see. They're going back to the split here, which I think is really effective. One. Torque said, whoo, take that. Take that flame. Oh, where's the spam? Idea. Where's oh. the spam, bro? He tried to go for that spam for uh, that he was doing in an Inferno to work out for him. Orca dropping some util. They got flashed. They're backing up. Facing away, which is surprising. They don't really want to get shot in the behind. I'm getting that scaffold and that short control. About to fight Orca. Nope. Nope. Apparently my x-ray is not working well. Orca hanging out in the elevator. About to fight. Wins the battle with On with the headshot. A play with a lurk. Chells with a quick. You can't give him that shot because he will take it all day, ladies and gentlemen. Going for the quick scope. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, he got it. No. no. Oh no, we had a nade out. Bottom frag getting Orca with the trade. Thank goodness he traded. 2v3 here. Slowing down a little bit. Mr. Professor, they're a little spread out here. He said vacant. I think he's going. I think he's trying to get that plant down. But it looks like Carrie's going back with the boomstick here. With the. F knows where he's coming from. Mr. Professor might be walking into a boom headshot. Throwing the molly, maybe, thinking about it. The flame might run out, or we might need a new bottle. Okay, he's throwing it. Carrie backing up, gonna push forward. Getting off, first off kill. Bottom frag said, oh crap. And flashes himself. There he goes, he's gonna peek. Pulsey peek with two kills, with two kills. He doesn't have time, you gotta rush. You gotta rush. Oh, I don't know, no, 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 oh man. Oh, oh my gosh. Almost. Oh, props to bottom Ow. frag, man. Almost. Fuffy is about to have a... Uh, is Fuffy's having a heart attack, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling 911 for him. Jeez Louise. 11-4, Hawks. Map number two. Even though it says map one. We're working on it, folks. Whew, that's a lot, great, lot of yellow there. Yeah, great recovery out of flash there at the end of Nacho's final two rounds and knock up down uh, 13 to 2. So they still got a solid shot here. Just got to do what Fox did, but do it one better. It's definitely Excellent. possible. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting second half here. Let's see. Now we have no sound again. Fuffy. Fuffy clicking around. There he goes gentlemen looks like an a hit hard a hit hard a hit by, the, uh, by team flash about to see two people at sandbag about to get a fistful of usps here oh they don't know they don't know surprise with one kill by hawk while he's blind he can carry white swing getting two can he get three nope can he get three? He's going for it. He said, I'm getting three. On steals it because he says, nah, you're okay. Bottom fry getting to Proust. Orca with the kill on Professor. We got... Orca has about as much HP as my voice still has. And we still might have one more map, folks. This is getting good. I got to drink some water here. Orca rushing down, freezing in time. Kind of like a, a bear in the winter, hibernating with that FPS. We are losing sound. And we're back. Hawkish. Getting Orca for the win. Oh, and... Oh, perfect. Thank you, Fuffy, for updating the map in case anyone else is confused. Yep, so I Here we go. Win for Hawks. They're looking like they want to close this out very quickly and get us over to map three. We're getting some life in the chat. You guys are getting my blood pumping. I love it. Like and follow CSC. Good proof. Woo. Almost eating a molly here. Chels getting ready for the onslaught. B gets one. Multiple here. B 
They got a firing squad. This is like the 1776 revolution. Here we go. Just a massacre down in base. Hawks, five alive, taking down Flash on the eco there. Wow, what is it? ADR out of the top three for Hawks. All three of them. Wow. Yeah, they got over a hundred each. They're just shredding Team Flash right now. And in the break, Fuffy was wondering if the mental might be shaking on Hawks, and it is clearly not. They are. They have found a groove, and they are not getting out of it. A play. Cork getting a little handsy here. Gives Ooh. Hawk a nice little kiss of the B250. Tossing a gun down because he's stuck with the molly, and then the spread just said, Hey, buddy, I'm still here. Pushing up A. Cork getting killed. Columbus. On, 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 on. Killing Columbus here. About to get a second or a third. I don't know because the computer needs a gerbil to run it again. Look at the wall. Thank you, Fuff. This is it. This is last. <laughs> Last dance saloon for Team Flash here. If they lose this, they are in a world of hurt. 11 in a row on their T side. Start off an even sh crappier by going down that final round. Throwing the smoke that I cannot throw. Covering a ramp here. Carry peeking up. I, Chels, I'm surprised Chels. He loves peeking that short with the off. Surprised he's not doing it. He's with the MP, the MP9 here. Bottom frag. Torque getting the opening kill on Chels. In B. Mr. Professor taking down Dupruz. Pushing out mid here. Getting some space. On using the utility. Hawkish. Popping down scaffold and getting a kill on Columbus. Causing Orca to, and Carrie to say, nah, I'm not going there. Torque getting a little ballsy here. Low HP, trying to get a peek. On said, no, I'm I'm CT sided now. I'm gonna hang out. Carry about to get in a fight on a very aggressive package. Takes him down with the headshot. Almost swings. Almost flicks on the bottom frag, who does trade her out. Torque still hanging out, saying, On, I don't have a lot of HP, but I want to give you a nice kiss on the mouth. Which is not legal in CSC, folks. On on the mouth, <laughs> if you see what I'm doing there. On, but with an A-H-N-H here. Doesn't know whether or not I'm going to throw a, a, a nade or not. 20 seconds in a 2-on-2 two two here. A 3-on-2. It's winnable. They might be a little conservative because they don't want to get into money troubles. But they got to they gotta win here. It's going for 15. On said, hey guys, you forgot about me. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. How you doing? How you doing with the 2K? 15 to 4. Fox about to close out Vertigo and force this to a match three. And ladies and gentlemen, I am about to throw my mouse against the wall. That's how excited I am. I hope you're feeling the same. Finding new life. I mean, just absolutely shredding Team Flash. And this should be over fairly quick. Actually, no, the buy is looking much better than I thought it was going to be. Carry getting the kill on Hawkins. We got the mid play here. They're boosting. They're proofs. Keep taking down Orca. Oh boy. Oh boy. That mid control is not obliterated. Bottom frag says, hey, it's my elevator. Getting treated up by Columbus. After getting two Chells coming through. And Chells loses. Keeping Team Flash alive. 15 5. Round 20. Going into 21. My favorite number at the casinos, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite number. Whew. This is a yeah. this is a smackdown right now by the Hawks. Let's hope they don't get complacent here. Let's yep. hope they don't get complacent. Bottom frag and shells trying to claw that two v five back. Yeah. Want him to do so, but they did a ton of econ damage, which is always nice. Shells is getting the best you can do. On just no scope somebody, and it would have been good if and Bobby was on that camera. Bottom frag taking down Orca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be busting Hawkish balls the whole time. Oh, Hawkish, Hawkish getting carry. Columbus getting Hawkish. Nice trade out there. Yeah, two Bo to close it out though. This is not looking Ooh, good for Flash. Not, yeah, it's not looking good. 
Columbus slowly playing up scaffold here. Bottom frag says, I'm gonna get you. Playing sandbags, looking back at his teammate like, watch this. On with the... Oh, he scoped this time. Thank God, because Pato would have missed it again. Torque going up a ramp. Torque is low now. Oh, this is, uh, oh yeah, it's not looking all good. All but over. Not looking good. And bottom frag holding it out. Hawk 16-5, forcing a map three prospect semifinals. Map three, ancient, with a knife round. Goodness gracious. Buffy, I want to hear some unmuted Analyze, anal, anal, analysis, you, you analyst, wanna, you analyst. Some I want to hear some analyst anal right now. I want to hear some analyst here. All right. I think that that was just pure confidence as well as set plays and practice coming through. The pistol rounds and setups that they had were really good. And I just like the pace that they were able to put on along with the anti striding that they had. I know that they actually had on studying some of those Team Flash demos. And one of their notes in the demos was that Team Flash loves to just send it up mid. And we saw some of those just really brawly rounds in mid where Hawks just rotated all together and sort of chewed them up, played the trade game, and then eventually somebody would get that 2K because the Hawks just have some individuals who are really capable of popping off. And in the end, they were able to just sort of eat that one up all day, took it to the bank. And, of course, starting out on that T side, they, they just... They look like a complete team. They knew what they were doing. They had side hall smoke in. They used the one way there uh, to get up yellow and take fights on ramp. They just, they had everything. They had all of the control that they would have wanted. And that's what really helped them. Now the question is, have they been studying up and have they been practicing on ancient? Because if they've, if they've got the same amount of practice going in, I think this one should be just as easy breezy. But if Oof. not, this one's a real question mark and it could be anyone's game. Oof, we got some life in the chat, too. We got Bronzy yelling, let's go torque. Those upsetty guys, they're like, it's like the Mafia. Once you're in, you're in for life here. Maybe a different team name, but shouts to all the upsetty. Shouts to Rask and Digital and Bronzy and all those people. So, Ancient is, is going to be up for grabs with the changes. I know it was traditionally a very heavy CT-sided map, and since I started playing it again, it has been... Very, very balanced, and I like it. It's going to lead for a great third map. All right. I would like to throw us to a quick break and then jump back in with Map 3 Ancient if everybody's all good with that. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a little break. I like it. I got to drink some water. I need to stop sweating. And <laughs> let's go. Here we find the rare bee anchor, thriving in his natural habitat, with nothing but the fresh air around him. He hears the communication of his various teammates, but does he really hear them? Drop smoke say. I'm all it up. Ah, where are you? Rotate A. But the bee anchor would not rotate. He preferred his cozy little spot here at the van, with cover from all sides and only one place to watch. The bee anchor lived a simple life. Sometimes, however, his legs would grow tired, so he would go sit on the bench. Although he lives a solemn life, the bee anchor is not devoid of cooperation. In a rare instance of team play, one of his teammates will assist him up onto the sight boxes. Once there, the bee anchor will not leave this elevated position for any reason. For if this is one of the rare rounds where he encounters terrorists, he must be ready for a fight. This, however, was not one such round. But it would happen. Soon. As flashes rain above from the apartments, the bee anchor grows nervous of this impending assault. But he steadies himself pulling out his trusty Molotov. 
he shall stop this take in one grenade, one click of the mouse, or so he thinks. You see, things rarely go to plan here on the B site. The terrorists were upon him, ready to deal the killing blow to their prey. However, the bee anchor had one more trick up his sleeve. He steadies his hand and reaches for that one fateful button. I think it'd be. The A and mid players are fast, used to responding to new information. Just not fast enough. As his vision went white, he could start to see that place beyond. He wasn't scared. He knew his time had come. And as his corpse lay lifeless on the site, he reflected back on the memories he had in this little corner of the map, realizing it would soon be leveled by the terrorist bomb blast. It was a life well lived and time well spent. He wouldn't trade this for any other position. Because he wasn't good enough to play them. Alright guys, welcome back. Map 3, Knife Round, Annex is here with me, gonna be taking over the play-by-play. -play. I hey, just hey. got back from Penn's mom's house, let's go! Wait, what? Uh, no, it's one of my buddies. I, I go to his mom house, mom's house in between maps. Take it over, buddy. That still leaves a lot of questions, but we're just gonna roll with it, I guess. What do you think's gonna happen here? Big map, third semifinals. The winner goes to the finals. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're also see finally seeing a Prospect Ancient map on stream. Yeah, I, this I, is a rarity. Yeah, Ancient uh, Hawks played once. They went 1-0, and Flash has not even touched this map, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I think they have a couple strats ready. I know any nades have been practicing a little bit of Ancient, I think. That was, that was with me last season. Anyways, we're getting into a fast rush here over from the Hawks, already trying to get into A fast. Everyone grouped up outside the A cave area. We've got a fun little smoke here. Probably, I'd assume, landing over towards Donut. And Torque already getting overwhelmed here. Oh. Trying to get anything. Nope, just gets taken down. That's the first trouble is Columbus. Taking down Mr. Fresher, meanwhile, on the cross. Bomb frag by Columbus. Though for the refrag. That's a three man retake over here from the temple and CTA angles. Carry. Hawkish. Getting too aggressive into that temple area. 3v3. Per Paul. Mentioned to find bottom frag there by the default boxes. And H and Shells Bells. Last one remaining. Bad play and also Donut. And Shells Bells doesn't get anything, but A&H uses that as a distraction. Mentioned to find one. Smoke goes a little bit wide. There's a hole in it, but it blocks off enough the bomb. They're it. A&H can get anything. Nope. Orca walking through the smoke. 
Silent as a mouse, and taking down A&H. Hitman style. I, I gotta say, I was, that execute was, that rush was great by the Hawks. They just, that post plant has been killing them all season, and it seems to have gotten them in this first round. Let's see what happens. They never all played right. any trade situations there. They need to play more trades there. Mm -hmm. Let me give my expert analysis. All right. Oh, here. boy. Puffy here with the anal. Um, so what they really needed to do was push for some other piece of map control. Pushing into the temple was okay, but they, they had donut. They needed something extra because without that extra map control, they're just sort of screwed. This round, though, they're defaulting, and they're going to just try to take as much map control as they can. Shell's up here in lane. They're going to do a little bit of... Ooh, instantly the fight there is won by Chels as I now throw the casting back to y'all. Thank you for the great anal there, Puffy. Meanwhile, a and and Mr. Professor are trying to just jump and flash in with those MAC-10s into Donut. And guess what? It catches Columbus off guard. Not ready for those jumping MAC-10s, but Torque and Orca on both sides of the map. Managing to get more Torque and Orca. Still finding two apiece. And that brings things back over to the Team Flash's side. Looked a little bit dicey there, but... Well, when you hit the shots like that, you don't need to worry about anything else. I gotta say, first off, the great anal that... Uh, that Fluffy gave Annex in between rounds there just really, really, really set me off. Bottom frag, slowly pushing through Temple here. Or Cave, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's confused. Pushing down on the B side. I've never heard anybody call that Temple. I have no idea. I'm a prospect. Orca taking down bottom frag. I, this is, this is uh, going back to the old style ancient uh, CT heavy sided here. Let's see if the Hawks can turn it around. I'm going to attack here as well. They managed to get the bomb plant there, so no extra money here. They're going to be forced down into some kind of light buy, maybe a full save. But yeah, It looks nothing. like a full save. I don't know if... Yeah, they don't really have any money. I think they're going to save and get a really good buy here. They'll have a lot of avenues to attack here. They haven't really fully shut down yet. Only two rounds in. But maybe when their best strats are getting canceled down, maybe feeling a little bit down after getting those openings and just losing it. I, I, Torque and Orca. I don't know if they're gonna that default is gonna work for them with the amount of aggression that the Team Flash is showing, especially in, in cave. Early defaults right here for Dean Flash. No one into Jaguar, though, so that's going to give Hawks a little bit of space to play with here if they decide to go in. Heavy util usage into mid here, just to make sure that Hawks has to think a little bit before getting in here. Now they're trying to pinch it here, but guess what? Nobody's here. Actually, Carrie's jumping across Candle here. That could be very dangerous. <sighs> but with that now... donut peek, too. With the donut peek, trying to bait him in. Aaron Columbus, one apiece, but Columbus gets mowed down by a triple peek into Donut. Hawks are going to try to accelerate here in through Donut. So people on the site here. A and H gets... Finger. And just ripped across a part of the map. That, uh... Looking back at the changes they made to Ancient, what do you think, Annex, with the, uh... With that temple window getting boarded up there i think it really 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 makes donut hold hard to hold yeah no longer you can have someone sit all the way back at temple they're safe from pretty much every single angle so it makes a takes for for that uh t sides a lot easier you no longer have to worry about one of those angles it's an easier split to get done the only thing it does do is it it, it slides and leaves a nice funnel down donut from either side. You really get a 50-50 shot, and if you peek the wrong way, you're gonna get killed. Mm -hmm. So far here, a lot of util expended over here in mid. Team Flash, now with, with no smokes left, actually. One of their biggest stall utilities is gone, and now they're just having to play a lot of contacts here. A lot of flashes left, a couple of HEs and Cinderies. They can hold pushes here, but no longer can they try to hold space here unless they're facing it with their bodies. And I hope they're not getting, uh, they're getting ballsy here, winning the aim duels and then trying to peek out and taking, uh, taking bad kills. Speaking of that, it looks like bottom fryer took a bad duel here. And is Chell gonna be ready here? Paul! Oh! Yes, they are! He... NH finds another! I don't know where Columbus died from, he died in Donut, that's Lurk gone! Orca alone on the site here, trying to play around the pillar here, can he hold the site here? 
Orca's about to get double stuffed here. Chell's taking Orca down. Carrie playing out. Carrie getting traded out. Leaving a 3v1. We round on the board for Team Flash Torque, not in his lifetime. Just going out to save. Torque. Going to see the rest of the map. Taking a nice little tour. Going nice to play. Hanging out. Lighting some candles. Cruising through. Gonna hide in the corner. Let's see. Let's see if they go lurking. Let's see what the, the money situation? I doubt it. I think they're going to play this site real tight. What do you think? Oh, what? I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> no. And Annex not worry. paying attention to me. He was... The perfect segue. There's some analysis here, but I just want to say keep oh, an eye out for Chells. When Chells is running up safe, very important. Chells is supposed to be the one to take fights, whether it was on Vertigo B, uh, Inferno Apartments, or here running up B lane into Cave on this T side. Chells is going to be very important because when they get that control, it opens up such just an important avenue into the B side. And, you know, Chells is very wary. They just perfectly cleared out uh, that corner there shutting them down and just basically securing the round before the hops. And I'm gonna say I'm getting corrected on A-N's name. A-N by Battle Mage. Thank you, Mage. I'm from Connecticut. I cannot say those words. Ooh, we got a nice little fight. Columbus taking down Chells. Taking the ace on the mid. Fight by Torque. What? How long was Team Flash getting in these positions? That was a pick f with a turbo peak from Maze, and then someone just made it all the way into the T-side donut. It looks like they're trying to take space, like we were. they were doing the first round. They're trying to take aggressive space, and I think, I think the Hawks are trying to fend it off, and they're fending it off okay. Still doable here. Into B-side. Found the opening, though. It's a free B site here. It was a double play over into Jaguar, but... Oh, Team Flash, they're being smart about it. Are they pushing into lane here? Oh, and we just saw this guy. Mr. Professor trying to teach him a thing or two out of B. See what I did there. Bomb has been planted. Showing... Oh! It's taken down by the girls. Bottom frag, peeking out in the two CTs. Getting taken down by Orca, and now they're going to have a pity party while they defuse the bomb. Four to one... Team Flash. Whew. I thought we had a momentum change for a little bit, and it looks like Team Flash put it right back. We got a big pause here. Fuffy said, I don't want to change cameras. Thank you, Fuffy. Hmm. I think we lost Annex. No, I'm still here. <laughs> People just type into me for some reason. Uh, I'm popular, you know. <laughs> we gotta hire. CSC is gonna be hiring a scribe for Annex next season. If you guys, uh, anyone. Isn't that what C Firehawk does? Is yeah. CSC at, go at gmail .com. Wait, What's a scribe? Wait, did you say scribe? Yeah. Okay. No reply at csconfederation.com is where you should send all of your complaints to. <laughs> Fuffy at gmail.com. <laughs> I wish I had that. Bad bottom frag in a util battle over on the B site. Chell's throwing that molly. Trying to hold on to Dupre's push here. Peeking behind it. Bottom frag switching out for the Galil. Playing against that smoke. Mr. Professor. Hugging a corner. Now he's looking at another corner. It's so slow here. They're 40 seconds here. Bombs over at outside. Be here. A missed Molotov there. Doesn't clear out a cubby. Chells gets their head ripped right off. And Orca bottom frag down. Hawkish okay, and just find a lurk kill, but that's already too late in the round. 1v5 turned to 1v4. Torque said not today. Torque said not today. Gave him the old spank. Five to one. Team Flash. This is not starting well for the Hawks right now. They did not take that mo momentum from Vertigo. Let's hope they can turn it around.
Icarus worrying about the bells. It's actually my kids. Oh, there's a uh, screenshot. Nice. It's my kids' night nightlight. Sorry for that. Are we just getting constantly tabbed in and out? Like my FPS is dying on stream. No, that that would be. Uh, That's parsec. Oh, I'm on the side to pop somehow get onto the side with nobody dying. Oh, Chelsea. Oh. It, oh. it looked good for a second, but Paul just... Paul taking the 3k there. Paul taking the 3k. That is so much easier than whatever his name is. God, I, I wish I knew that the first map, ladies and gentlemen. But now, Hawks, Hawks down so much. What more can you pull out of the bag? You need to start to pull something out here. Make this a competitive half. Another Miss Molly here. Lead into mid here. Trying to lurk out here, but you got a deadly cross right here. Out from over on top of Maze. Still two more to deal with inside of mid here. Can you find anything? Columbus tries to go out wide, but Annie up Up ahead. Carry there. Rat corner. Ready for it. H. Now hiding behind the box. Carry gets out, still got free. Nane H hears that rotate. What? I don't I think that was a T smoke. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's a T smoke. That was, that, a was a, that was an NA nade if I've ever seen one. If that was a CT smoke. That was definitely a T smoke there. Now. One four turned into two on three. Bomb gang yeeted up on top of Mace to try and get that thing over into the B site. And guess what? It's just in time as Orca picks off NH, the original bomb carrier, and that's a free plan. And that was a free shot that just got missed. Bomb has been planted. Two on two. Hawks. Nicholas, Perfect opportunity to try this. and get something as Orca having to go the long ways around. You're taking so long to try and get around here. You cannot walk here if you want to go for the retake. On a 2v2, they might be saving here. They might have fallen, fallen back. Guys are commenting on my kids tonight, my kids' uh, baby monitor. I hope that they can't hear it now. I put on noise suppression, so let me know, guys. No time left. Why are you still going for this? That was a... Uh, that was a weird thing to go for. All right. Yeah. That might have that might be a momentum change here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if Hawks can capitalize on that miscue by Team Flash. There's still cash here. Like they didn't even they didn't really play for an exit pick there on the Hawks. If they got one more gun out of their hands, I would have understood it. But they played it like they were trying to go for retake there. But time was already already so far ticked down. And A and H is AFK. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Stay on him. Don't even watch it around hey, there. Remake? Oh. oh, boy. No more remake now. Chelsea damage. They had the power play. They oh, had the... Or, or got taken down somewhere. Yep, he got taken down and they had the power play. And now they're back even. Professor holding up mid. Slow playing now. Slowing that... I don't know if that slow playing is working for him. Paul taking down bottom frag. Flashes, little util battle with Chells. Trying to suppress that up. Let's see if he can make it up. Mr. Professor slowly peeking through mid. Peeking into a smoke. Flash coming from Donut, it looks like. Columbus almost getting timinged. Gets, well, gets taken down by Mr. Professor. Mollying through, trying to get in a red room here. Hey, my parsec died. It's up to you, Zulu. I gotcha. Thank you. Professor getting red room, poking through. Orko hanging out in the smoke, trying to breathe. Chell slowly with that, with that op. Carry taking down Hawkish. Mr. Preston now carry. Getting the 2K on Paul. They got 20 what? seconds left, and they have to run to Orca here. They, have they to only run. have, oh, they only have no. the B site left. They have to run. They have to run right now. They're gonna get the bomb down. Oh no, no. they're not gonna get the bomb down. 10 seconds, Professor has oh, to push this. Oh, Professor has to fight this right now. With the flash, he's got the turn. 
Get that to oh, we... oh, oh, man. They got two spread out. That slow play is not working it. I left the bomb back in spawn the whole time. Just you forgot don't... about it back towards B main, and then in the end they had to go B, and that was rough. Alright, so here we are in the tech pause. We have a little bit of time to talk about things as we wait for a and to hopefully reconnect. Hopefully nothing bad happened to him. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? So Pizza toppings? Yeah, what do you guys like for pizza? If you guys want, um, you can listen to my ba my kid's baby monitor, and we can actually have everyone fall asleep. No, right no, no. Pepperoni we've already heard... Listen, we've already... We've already heard one phone call that we didn't need to hear. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm currently out on the East Coast and the Jersey Shore, and it's great. Great pizza. But the yeah. one thing is it is not worth it to get pepperoni pizza because it's like you, you an extra dollar and a half or something. You have not hit. cheese to pepperoni. You have not hit the pizza capital of the world, Connecticut. Voted on by Barstool, Connecticut I, mm, I, I'm, I'm a big New York pizza fan. Uh, nope. It'll blow it out. It'll, it'll literally take New York pizza what and style blow of pizza? it. It's New Haven style pizza, buddy. It's its own thing. It's its own thing. Sounds weird. It's amazing. It will knock you off your Crocs. Okay. It'll make you, if you don't want to slap your sister after you eat a pizza. All right. right. No, no, no. Yeah. That's where we ended. That's where we ended. I, I, I don't have a si I'm an only child. Um, oh. Well, if no, you would, that's where we, that's you, where we end things you off. Would, that's... You, you would find nope. a sister Zulu, and Zulu, slap Zulu, I'm going to stop you there. <laughs> nope. It's. <laughs> we ain't having this kind of discourse. You will find a sister and you will slap it. It's 2022, <laughs> Annex. No. It's 2022. Zulu, you it's shut up. 2022, shut. we can visit. shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when the game goes this far. Oh my and god! Honestly, this did, did Ans' internet just get turned off? Yep. He said he just he left. He just dis DC'd, just disappeared. No, we didn't. All right, well, we have 10 minutes of tech pause to figure this out. All right, perfect. At which we have 10 point, minutes Hawks pause. will just be screwed. We aren't having pizza discourse here, all right? No, we changed the, the t talking all topic. Right, we changed topics. Can we talk about ice cream? Ooh, what do we got for ice cream here? What do you guys like? Can we do anything non-food related? Do we have uh, that capacity? Uh, I mean, if I say anything that I want to I wanna rate, I'll probably get kicked off Twitch, so I don't think we're going to do that. All right. What about uh Alright, so you don't have that capacity, Fuffy. Save the stream. What about Do you guys like milk? Oh, dude. Alright. Fluffy shot his shot and he missed. I <laughs> My shot was milk. Swing and a miss. Oh no. <laughs> it's on back. Oh boy. They are. Everyone check the Discord. Yep. Hashtag prospects looking for a sub for for match. Oh no. Alright, you know what we're gonna talk about the fact that Elite Challenger ended off, so we're going to talk about those playoffs. Oh, true, actually. There you go. You can do it, because I have not paid attention to it at all. Uh, Sashi hasn't been updated, so we can't reference that, but the Elite and... Real quick. I, don't, I, need... I, I forget what happened with Elite, but I know what happened with Challenger. Real, uh, real, real quick, before you say anything about that, I need to give a shout-out to Bullseye. He said, he said R.I.P. No Wi-Fi parental... If this is what... Parental controls is at eleven thirty. <laughs> no shot. Oh man, he is fighting his mom right now. Mom, mom. There's no way that parental mom controls just killed the playoff match. Playoffs. His mom just took the iPad, ladies and gentlemen. She took it and she said, "Nope, not today. Okay, You're okay. not hanging with have, your friends." Do they have data? Freaking turn on a mobile hotspot right now. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. Okay. But no. If you tried changing the MAC address of your computer to get around the Wi-Fi block, or wait, wait, wait. And here's your, I did. Here's your tech. Where... 
I'm sure tech it's hard lesson. to get around it if it's just completely turned off. What I did was oh, when it was just software that would stop me, I may, I instead of logging into my account on the computer, I logged into the guest account, and it didn't have any print. Okay, that's good. I thought you were going to get real technical here, and I was going to jump oh, off nah, my roof. Oh, nah, no, nah. I literally just logged into the uh, guest mean, account. Meanwhile, the discourse for uh, playoffs. Oh, yeah. What, what are we looking at? If you look if you look at the current stat sheet right now, Ooh. the top eight teams on that made the playoffs... I know that much, at least. We got, like, a weird six-way tie, I think, going on. Or six, five? Five-man, six? Uh, six. I think, nope. it, no, five. I think it's now, five or four. Now, Fuff, do we have any idea what's going on right now? Anything in the chat? Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a four-way, f- five. No, I can't count right now. Five-way tie over in Challenger for the 4th through 8th spots, and it went in the order of this. Samurai got 4th, Gliders got 5th, Decoys got 6th, Hitman got 7th, and Falcons got 8th. And meanwhile, at the top of the standings, I'm pretty sure it was Leopards took the top spot, followed by Pretty Penne, then the Chemists. So, um... So, in in chat right now, we're getting some speculation that uh, An's parents cut his Wi-Fi off, and they're not even home, so they're out right now. And oh no! What the... Oh no! An said I'm not today. The HUD, but you know what else we get? Oh, match! We get stats. We get the tears here. Oh my god! And we're gonna have a seizure. Elite and challenge is what we're looking at. All right. It's not fully updated yet. Break, break oh, this down, actually. Annex. Break this down. It's not fully updated. What do we want to? We gotta, we gotta figure this out. Okay. All right. So today, over in the Elite and Challenger matches, let's start with the Challenger matches. Cosmic Man to beat out Samurai. Hitman managed to beat out the Chemist. Decoys managed to beat out the Barbarians. Leopards managed to beat out Pretty Penne. Actually, yeah, they managed to beat out Pretty yeah, so Penne. Then Kitsune has managed to beat out Muck Menaces, and also Aviary managed to beat out uh, Androids. Yeah, Androids is the Tom to team name in Challenger. So that essentially puts things as a five-way tie in for the fourth through eighth slots. Then Pretty Penne and Chemists were also tied there for the second and third spots, but I'm pretty sure that Pretty Penne won the head-to-head with Chemists, so they take the second spot overall over them. Let me try to find the exact match I'm I'm thinking about. It was... Where's my schedule? Here we are. Uh... All right, I'm I'm extending an offer right now to A Bear if he wants to join and explain tiebreakers. He's the expert. Yeah, pretty Penny beat out the chemists in the head-to-head, so that means they take the solo second spot. And Leopards, because they had the best record overall throughout the season, they take the number one spot. And meanwhile, in the five-way tie for Challenger and the fourth through eighth spots, I'm pretty sure Cash already had a uh, listed already out. Because if we actually go in depth on that, that would take forever, and I don't have the brain power for that. Wait for the uh, stats committee write up that they'll eventually do. I bears here. A bears. I bear. A bear. Indeed. Yeah, cat. A bear. Cash, Cash, bear. Cash, Cash the you. breakdown. What's going on? All right. So with all and the it. results from Challenger, the standings are in per Cashmo and Yetif and rules. Uh, current standings all i have is four through eight samurai fourth decoys fifth hitman sixth barbarian seventh falcons eighth uh in other news for elite uh it looks like uh Nan Wait, me... and sai are both out as well um, let me of elite playoffs go back to you annex yeah over in elite the matchups for today end up playing out like this Mercenaries beat out the Astronomers, Wormguard beat out Tilted Togglers, Kappas beat out Gloop Troop. We finally won an overtime game, by the way, in the Yokai Cafe. Took us an entire fucking season. Yeah, Solar that was beat the out Daimyo. Upset of the season right there, for sure. Solar beat out Daimyo, Impostors beat out the Eagles, and Wongees beat out the Knights. So essentially how that lays off in the standings, I don't think that changed all too much. Yeah, I think Astronomers, Mercenary. Wait. 
Mercenaries beat the Astronomers. Did Wormguard win? No. Yeah, they actually Wormguard did won. win. Yeah. Polar also won. What, what was the head to head like for the Astronomers, Wormguard, and 1Gs? Because they would have tied there for overall records. As astronomers loses all. Uh, so, like I said, Astronomers and 1Gs are out because they lose the head to head versus Wormguard. <clears throat> Gosh. Everyone's trying to. All right, join. that means so Wormguard. Are we turning this into an episode of the CSC Worm... podcast. I don't know. Oh my god, we have a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we have a podcast. You guys yeah. know the podcast. Oh Jesus! Right, we're dragging oh, everybody in. Oh we're my god, in, everybody! Welcome god back damn it! To the CSC podcast. Oh. Welcome. Final, the final CSC Charlie Spanding. So according to Spence, is number one leopards, two pretty penny, three chemists. We, we already explained this. Samurai. Oh, we already did the entirety uh, of that, Charlie. There's yeah. gonna... Spence is so... DMing it to me now. So, guys, for the uh, intermission, we're going to have Ibear and Annex have a fist fight. I'm done. Discord. Can you place bets? Can you place bets on it? Yeah, anybody want to put it on? We can put it on. I have uh, three sand dunes on Annex. Hmm. How tall are you, right, sand so Annex? For, uh, for this intermission, really? we will be having a uh, everyone punch Spence contest. Oh. Um, <laughs> how about a tickle fight? How much, how much everyone loves to get in? Spence, and everyone loves to hate Spence. So how much do have to pay to get in? <laughs> yeah, it's, wait. It's, I would it's a like to just donation to before we CSC PayPal. Before we <laughs> dive deep into this discourse, uh, what are the rulings on being able the Hawks being able to sub somebody in mid match? I don't think mid match. So. I do not know the rule. I know uh, between I games, don't you're think able you to. can do it in the middle of a game. So is Hawks forced to try and recover A and H to be able to? I believe they I are. think it has it been past ten minutes. They only get ten minutes though. I was definitely been past ten minutes. Definitely been past, so they have to start. Yet. But once I think it has 10 minutes. If Team Flash requests the start, they have to start. Now, they, what was the rolling? Can they sub? Nope. I'm going to double check, not, but I'm pretty sure game, they can. I do not I believe so. they can. I wave rules, but. Hey, hey there's all... how about that? Let, how about a call to the bullpen? Zulu comes in. A Hawk <laughs> alumni. A Hawk alumni coming in and saving the day. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, think goodness. about it like this. You know how in like pro play they always sub the coach in? All right. Listen, I have yeah. the rule, by the way, as I'm well. The coach. I have oh, two no. I have two MMR, so I have a point zero 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 two MMR, so I'm good. All right. I have the rule, by the way. Five point four point six point one. Playoff substitutions may happen before or between games. A request for a sub must be completed prior to the pistol round. And then it just talks Oof. about other stuff that's not really relevant to this. So. Well, it looks like we're Oof. forced back in then as we... Uh... Yeah. Are we starting back up? Like we're starting right. back up. Ooh. All and your non-casters, us... get out. Annex, take it up. Yeah, all, all non-casters, get out here. Are they starting or no? Yep, yeah, we're starting here with the 4v5, hey, actually. Dude. So we're going to be playing down A and H, Hawks. Now has a, quite a mountain to climb already. Oh, without yeah. being having already down 2-7. Spence get in there. I just came by to have a tickle fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Hawks and Engine having to play S4 here, having to get as many rounds as they can on this T side. So, and a, and a little bit of overgression there from Columbus. Then you find a lurk pick for Mr. Professor. Bring things down to even. And are they ready for this ramp push? Yes, they are. Bottom frag. Her kill of the match. It's all on the bottom frag, but. They gotta Imagine capitalize. Have some kind of this. impact. They gotta capitalize off this. Uh, off this. Oh, yeah. There they go. That's exactly how you need to play it. This is so smart too. Hawkish has to be the one picking up IGLing them at this point that they don't have their collar with them. And the fact that they can rotate straight over, this is genius. Hawkish loves this map too. He's very good at calling on this map. Be interesting to see how that uh, that plays into it. Well, Team Flash tried to do anything. For the tag, no kill. Oh, with, oh man! Oh, Harry with Mr. Professor, no. it's a 2 on 2 now! Oh no. Harry with low HP. Team Flash has a shot here. This could completely shut down the Hawks. Else, oh. can't wait to Torchman should find him. Oh no. Oh, the Team Flash just pulled a phase clan. Oh, the post plant guys. 
Nice try by the Hawks, but the post plant got him again. You had all the chances that yes. has to ruin them mentally. Imagine you lose your IGL, you have to play 4v5, and you're like, all right, we can do this. You're in the perfect spot. 4v2 there? They just throw it away. That's just painful to see. They're gonna capitalize on this. They're gonna... They gotta keep Fresh up air over into the B side. Been fully dunked on. Though they managed to find a kill there. Not much health low left. Those health pools really doing good. Paul not opting for any kind of spam into that box. Gets one and still alive. He's dancing around the pillar. Chell? Are you gonna peek? Gets one. Pals coming up big. Couldn't get the third. Down to Hawkish. 1v2. Gets one, but Derek gets four. There he Ninja goes, Hawk! There Torque. he goes! Torque, uh, tunnel vision on the bomb, trying to tap it to make Hawkish peek out some more, but Hawkish managed to get a timing down there. And as Torque tried to go for the bomb there, just swung out there on a 4 HP, one bullet would have killed, but no bullets rang out from Torque. Big round for the Hawks there. Big mental round. Let's see if they capitalize on this. Pistols by Team Flash. That was close. Torque Torque couldn't finish it. They carry Manja Fine Bomb Frag, Hawks to trade, and it is a 1v3 for Columbus. Annex, what do you think about that, uh, the Hawks up in the aggression now, even playing at a disadvantage? Well, the aggression is what they need to go for here, because if you play any kind of spread map looking for pick, if Team Flash plays uh, good trade situations, like, they win that 100% of the time. 5v4, even trades. Hawk dancing around his favorite pillar here. Hawk is in here, the staff. It's not planned for him. Oh, but Molly, smart, no kids. Smart man. Professor playing some heads up CS right there. Playing a dance around. Columbus seeing the light here at the end of the uh, tunnel. Professor? Run it! You, got... you gotta run there, bub. He's dead. He's okay. Oh, oh, my goodness. Don't keep running right there. Just hide. Great round by the Hawks. They are playing aggressive, and it is working out for them. Let's see if they can salvage the rest of this half. We've seen some crazy ancient comebacks. 4v5 oddly works in towards the favor of Hawks because it's it's actually putting them in different mindset. Here, having to play a lot more aggressive, a lot more smart. Like you're down a player there. So it's either you play this smart or you don't play it at all. And you manage to find something at least. Though that wasn't as good. Double Molly there. And then Chells, despite throwing out that smoke to try and extinguish it. Now Team Flash, they're playing trade, pretty much trade situation throughout the map, or one done angles where you're going to get something. Torque really, there on the boost, crossfire really mid, crossfire at B. Really aggressive map space, too. They're playing those crossfires, but they're really moving map space. Oh, yep. Gets the jiggle through the smoke. And Torque managed to find the Professor as he tries to lurk out of the main area for A. No. Oh, it's one, but not the second. Clean on the first, not so clean on the second. So again, they cut down on their aggressiveness and did not take the rushes, and they lost the round. I think this, hopefully, is a sign for them to push the aggression, take the duels, know that you can win the trades because you have the advantage being the attacking side. It's a MAC-10 play. We're going to see a rush here. It's only one flash, though. Tor it's down to Torque here. What's he gonna do? He's getting aggressive here. And he lost it. Overwhelmed by the pure amount of players there. Get a shot. Get to the bomb up carrier. Down to two. Giving up those 1v1s. There as well. Carry it there, fighting. Shells over in the temple. 
Watch, I was trying my best to try and jake what's fuck and find Orca through the donut. Ace opportunity dies in the dust. This is they're playing that aggression and they're getting those opening picks and getting into the sites. They just really need to clear them out. They're taking 1v1 duels and it's not working out for them. They gotta use their numbers. Yep, yeah, they, they got, do. They gotta take those advantages and take those take those duels with numbers. They're just doing it again. Or Gets oh. off with the, barely the skin of his pants. I didn't know pants had skin, but we'll take it. That calls off really the rush like there for the Hawks. They managed to get the opening there. Couldn't get the aggression from Torque. Down pack, managed yeah. to tag him down, but now you know the rotates are going to be in there to help out that A side. I love the way that they're just playing together as a pack. They've all pushed up together, and now they're just sort of fanning out. And when they fan out, well, now they're put it, put it back to even. I'm Columbus. Torque has some low HP, too. Let's see if they capitalize oh, this on this timing. It. What happen needs to happen here is these A players need to take contact first to try and draw any of the rotates there. If the A players go too soon, they're going to ruin the bomb. Like, this is a perfect fake opportunity here. Chelsea's deep. Took it by himself. Oh no. Is a player oh, the rotates can get cut here. Hawkish is in a great position. But the. Oh, timing. He's about to get timing. Hawkish. Hawk oh. You saw the gun. Why are you looking over there? You saw the gun. You know they're there. Down. Four eleven. We saw how this half went in that first map of Inferno. It seems to be repeating itself, though. That's... Who knows? They do have CT side on Ancient, which again is a very. I still think it's a CT sided map. And it's gonna That's allow a CT them. CT sided when you're down a man. That's the only problem. If they can split out, they. Who knows if they're gonna give up? What they're gonna give up? They're gonna have to give up something with the, the disadvantage. Whether they're going to give up mid, whether they're going to give up play one person on a site, is left to be seen, but it's going to be tough. Tough for the Hawks. Unfortunate turn of events. You know, what I'd love to see, Hawks, you got to pretty much three minutes stack a site and play retake on the other. Now, which site do you think is most effective there? Is it A? You can handle it based on how you read the opponent. And yeah, they're that's what they're doing. Taking a battle in mid on pistols. You gotta stay active here and just hit your hit taking off the P250. Close up Glock. Or I guess that was the P250 there. And Oh, you kinda get something there, but a 1v3 now. Oh Did you guys see the uh? 1v3? Yeah. Because I think we might. I think Paul he's here. got a chance. I think he's got a chance. He's still on a raid boss here. Paul. Flash his teammate. Ah. Nice try by Mr. Professor. It's so hard there to push into a raid boss. I just saw... Uh, does anybody know what the over-under is that Ahn is destroying his room right now? Just obliterating it with a baseball bat. As of that internet outage. Well, Hawks now trying to force up what they can, and that is a triple. We're seeing a variety of guns here 5.7, and P9, UMP, and a PP Bison. And they're splitting the map here. 2 2, two setup. You gotta hope for some hero plays here to happen if you have any shot in these rounds. And right now, Orca just pending it into the A site. Gets traded out nice by Mr. Professor. Health putting him at even. Then gets taken down by Columbus. Two health. It was close.
You got some good damage there, but you just couldn't finish it. Now 13 for Flash. No money for the Hawks. This might be a 14. Push into mid. Carrie carries the sacrificial lamb, but she should have spotted everything. Yep, two more down. Only an MP9 recover for Professor running through the T spawn. Bond frag, meanwhile. Down over there in the CT. Bond back to be flanked out. Found a hole though. Man, I'm frag. Two v one situation here. Bottom frag. No first win. He gets taken down by Orca. Tough turn of events, but for the Hawks. Huh. Game just feels like it's got to be morning. Like I don't know what else to do. There's just a blackout for one player. Boom, they're gone. And what looked like it was a very competitive, very interesting game, especially with how well the Hawks seemed to play like right after all of those tech pauses they got two more rounds and then we uh, made here paul taking one going down one to one trades here always favor team flash columbus tag down a little bit chelsea managing it a little bit gets it into the lane side ball up bomb left alone over there Professor gets a chance here but no carry takes him down chels having the back on the b ramp getting some damage on Columbus. One or two shots will kill all these Team Flash players, though. There's a chance for Hawks to put fifth on the board. Chels, frag. Chels has got to know that they're rotating right now. They know there's one person per site. There he goes. On frag. This is where you need to shine. Don't get caught with your nade out. Oh, Yo, he what? got caught with his nade out! I told you! He got away by the skin of his pants. Orca getting taken down there by Chell's been up for getting one down on the there. Chell. Is it gonna hold? Nope. Oh! <laughs> Columbus swings wide there, but Chell's right afraid of 4K to save Hawks. They're alive. Point. They're alive, ladies and gentlemen. They are alive. It's only 514. It's only 514, guys. It's only 514. It's only midnight Eastern Standard Time. We could go longer. Oh, boy. Now Hawks, they need to convert. If they can convert this, they force an eco out from Team Flash. Orc is running through the mall there to get lane control there. Up into Jaguar. Is Chell's gonna be ready for it? He's been the savior for the Hawks. Now Torque just chilling, looking for the push. It's a heavy, heavy A control here. They're spread up. They can take these one these one v two duels. They can do it. There's one. Professor doing the right thing and stepping back. Hawk is about to get... Oh, no. He swings! He swings! Oh. Got underneath the sight line. Oh. Professor, Professor could convert the, convert the second. That's a free A sight. Poor cock it down the head. Gets taken down by Kells. Don't you. frag. Orca taking Chels down and Donut. Bottom frag. Trying to keep the game alive for the Hawks. Oh, nice try by bottom frag. 15 to 5. 15 flash. Serious point here. And SMG's little utility.
I think this might go down as one of the most pivotal moments. Is I'm going down. They're pushing a main here. We got an NA observer. Oh. And Orca just booking it all, all the way back over to B, but he's getting cut off. He's getting cut off. Chels. Chels. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. He almost had a blunder there. Pork rushing. Doesn't get any more. He needs something more. Pork oh, makes get one. Paul trades it. It's oh, one on one. Oh my goodness. One on one. They're it's about ready. to see each other. Oh. And Professor keeps the Hawks alive. Great cross placement by a Professor. Somehow they have to do crazy stuff like that in order to keep winning these rounds. I don't think it's consistent at all, but like, that's the levels that they have to go to. They, they have to split these ones out 4v5. Like, oh yeah, they just have to go mental. Ultra huh? aggressive. Finally, an eco down for Team Flash, but guess what? They're going fast in here. They're running into the three, though. Can get oh, more. No. Down. Professor can get more. You need more. You need more something. Bonfrag 2. He finally. Okay, that's the hero play. 1v1. Bottom frag with the hero play, managed to take, whip out that pistol there for the 3k. That was for all the marbles here. And he gets it. Saved. Everybody's taking Those a initial deep trades now. looked so dicey. Everybody's taking a deep breath. I hit every button there except for the bottom frag button. And he got the 3k. Observer didn't believe. Oh my god. This is insane. Buffy this was just is... mashing observer buttons. This is not, just I'm just mashing. like... Alright, full buyback Bro's in here crazy. for Team Flash here. Can they seal the things out at the 7th? Oh, uh, here we go. Full mid A rush here. down mid. No Taking one, that map no control, into I love it. it. I love the map control. Good job by Chels. No one would take it off. Columbus Minjo finds the right so there. Hawk is trade there from bottom mid. Chels also finds Orca, but guess what? That's a free A site there. Run three for the last. What well, could possibly be the last post plant here? They gotta play with some urgency. Two Paul. kids. They don't have to worry about kids. Torque jumps across. He gets spotted by bottom frag. They know he's playing back sight now. Torque now just holding down Temple. All the flanks are covered here now. Kind of a weird smoke. And Torque just lines him up. Charles Mills and Hawkish. They just lined up for him. Bottom frag and spam the smoke. Torque. And now you're out of time. That's GG's. And there we have it, folks. Team Flash. Moving on to the grand finals. What an ending. Props to Hawks for trying to make do with what they had. They did a phenomenal job. Definitely, definitely going down in some infamy, though. So, Team Flash will be moving on to the finals to play up against the winner of Mathematicians and Roombas. Buff. I think what's been said is been said. I don't I don't know if there's anything else we could say about uh about this ending. It was uh unfortunately very anticlimactic. Unfortunately, but also it it just felt like the climax came early. Everything was set up for that banger final map and then oh. the most exciting moment of it all is just the writing was on oh, no. the wall, man. That is just Disappointing. Props to the Hawks for sticking with it. They did a great job on Vertigo. Unfortunately, it wasn't their night. Fortunately, I'm I'm not sure if we'll be able to pull someone in. Just talk with them a little bit about what's going on. It's unfortunate. I I believe uh there have been some blackouts or something else before. I don't know where. On is from. I don't know if it's the Sahara Desert or if it is Alaska or. Oh, it's Canada. So he's in Canada. I don't know if he's in. Um, and I know they they've had power outages before, but. Yeah, I don't know if it's a an area where the only way to get to is Wi-Fi is to go by sled dog. I don't know. But unfortunately, it did not. 
did not work out for them tonight. All right. Well, we getting anybody in, or are we we cutting it here? GGs to everybody. I I think it might just be, we might just have to say good night. We might yep. just have to say thanks to everyone for watching, for tuning I, I, in. I think we have to go. Um, do you have any final that was final words, Annex? Um, no. I'm still wondering where the hell the score posting is for the other prospect. <laughs> Orders match is that still running? Or did or did nothing just get posted? Uh, All right, wait. Let's find what? this out. Are we are we waiting? I have to, score I... reporting has nothing in it. Could still be going. All right, let me let me see if I can figure this out. It's detective time. All right. All right. We're gonna... Who all is on that other prospect team? We're... We have mathematicians up against Roombus. Yeah, mathematicians Roombus. Uh, I don't believe they're still playing. No. Where the hell's a score report? Oh boy, Annex is not the yellow people. Believe. Oh boy. Roomba, yeah, no. Wooston's on Roombas, and Wooston is not playing CS right now. No. Where the detective f- work has been completed. Detective Fuffy here to sign out, but also here to hey, thank you all. Yeah, thank we you guys like for coming. Forty-five people still yeah, here, crazy. just chilling with crazy. the insanity that's been this game. Crazy, crazy. I'm glad crazy. that I took a random night to come jump. Oh, mental is typing. Oh boy. Are we what? signing out, Fuff? Wait, I've hold been, on. I think we. I think we signed out on I'm, this one. I'm, Zulu, I'm, you want to do the final goodbyes? Remember, kids, help control the animal population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody. No, we're we're not ending off on that. No, it's Bob Barker, Annex. It's Bob Barker. Who the fuck's Bob Barker? Oh Jesus, you molest.